Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and this is gonna be another super dirt cheap fuzz pedal unboxing video. I actually ordered this at the same time I had ordered my last batch of super cheap fuzzes. These are the two remainders from that, the Papai and the Azor. And uh, this just went on the super slow boat from China and it finally got here, what, like a month and a half later, two months later, I can't even remember, but anyways, this is a $22 fuzz pedal. I have no idea if it's gonna be any good at all, what it's gonna sound like. I mean, the descriptions on these things are vague. So let's get into it. I wanna unbox it. I wanna see what it sounds like, so do you. And then after I unbox it, I'm gonna pull in my favorite super cheap fuzzes here and do some shootouts and just have some fun with them. All these are under 40 bucks, I think. I think the Rusty Fuzz is the most expensive and I'm pretty sure you can get it under 40 bucks all the time. So anyways, let's do this thing. A little bit of tape back here. We've broken the seal. Mini pedal. What does it say on the box? Fuzz. Nothing else. Mini pedal and fuzz. It's just sliding right open. <laughs> the Cuvave, Cuvave, Cuve Avenue. I think I like Cuvave. That sounds uh, exotic. There's a little bit of paperwork in here for the Cuvave. Thank you for spending your time and money to buy this fuzz pedal. This fuzz is designed for guitar with very special tone, like the Servius Distortion. We have tried our best to provide a high quality effect. We recreate the old school sound of fuzz with the full metal shell and compact design. We hope that you will enjoy using it. I hope that I will enjoy using it as well. It's got a volume tone gain knob, output jack, status LED, input jack, true bypass foot foot switch, and a DC power jack. One of the reasons I bought this and picked it over others is because it has a USB plug on the side. I have no idea why. Why does it need a USB plug? Is it a digital fuzz? I'd be super like surprised if it was. I don't see any screws on the back. Maybe it's all held together by the bolt up there. Oh, you know, I think the screws are underneath the foamy feet here. It's pushed in a little bit. Yeah, there's screws under there. So maybe I should open this up right now. Let's take a peek inside. I wanna see where that USB plug goes to. This is a little stupid. Opening a pedal before, I'm gonna plug it in to see what it sounds like. I'm just really curious about that USB plug. Like maybe it goes to a battery or something. All right, last screw. Moment of truth. Oh, you're gonna hide your secrets from me. Oh, there we go. Whoa, weird. It's got two circuit boards in here. This is more involved than I thought it would be. Oh boy, I'm I'm here. Two more screws. Why am I doing this? Just because I wanted to know where a USB plug would go. No, if it So here's the control. What a wild design. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. I'm not a pedal builder. But it's wild that it's two pieces and it's got that little slide insert thing there. My gut tells me this is some sort of digital pedal with that USB plug. I don't see anything that looks like a battery. So why is there a USB? Tell me your theories down below. Gotta put this thing back together now and we'll find out the important thing. What does it sound like? What is a $22 mystery fuzz that has more engineering than I'd expect a fuzz to ever need? 
including a USB jack, what does it sound like? If it even works now that I've taken it apart completely. Because I'm stupid and I do dumb stuff. I mean, there were, it's all micro SMD components in there. It could be analog. Maybe that USB thing is for programming like the controllers for it or something. Maybe the controls are digital, but it seems like a weird thing to do and ex more expensive engineering thing to do when fuzzes can be just so dirt simple. Forget the other screws. Let's get into this. You want to hear it. I want to hear it. Let's see if it even works now that I've molested it. Oh, it's got a light. Q-Vave, you don't have to turn on your red light. Did I even get in the neighborhood of the melody for that? A little music joke there. All right, I'm gonna be using my Fender Lead 3 that I just got because of course I am. Uh, I got this thing dialed in when I got back from vacation and I've been playing it a lot. I uh, had to adjust the action on the saddles quite a bit because they had it set up really, really high when it showed up. Okay, let's get this all lined up and ready to go. Here's the bridge pickup. Let's see what the Kuvave sounds like. Put everything, we'll put the tone and the volume at noon anyways. That actually sounds really good right off the bat. It actually has a really super great, like, Velcro ripping super fuzz sort of thing going on, like a Univox super fuzz.
That is really, really bonkers. $22 right off the bat. I'm getting strong buy, buy, buy vibes off of this. Buy, buy, buy. It sounds huge. It's got that nasty gated thing going on. It's got the Velcro rip that I love. Did I just find my favorite fuzz and it's $22 and it has a USB jack for some reason? <laughs> It sounds great with the tone wide open. If it's digital at all, it's fooling me because it sounds really fun. It stays fuzz all the way across the range of the gain control. Just gets more saturated when you turn it up. I'm getting sloppy here. Let's put it onto the single coil mode. Next single. Neck humbucker. Let's put it back on bridge and start starving the volume out of it. It doesn't clean up too good. It's not like a fuzz face sort of thing. That just sounds super, super great. I recommend it. Despite looking kind of boring, having a mystery USB jack on there, that I hope I'll figure it out at some point. I kind of hoped it connected to a battery and would like charge or something, but it had to be some sort of just digital setup for the controls or something. I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get into some of these other super cheap pedals. Watch that battery starve off or capacitor or whatever's in there. Uh, first up, Rusty Fuzz by TC Electronic. I remember this thing sounding pretty great, but man, coming off that cuvave. It sounds exotic to say cuvave, like some sort of scent. We'll see if this delivers compared to the $22 cuvave fuzz. <laughs> this is like a fuzz face sort of circuit. Right off the bat, kind of sounds muffled and dark in the EQ territory compared to the Kuvave. It's a fuzz face style circuit. It does the fuzz face sort of clean up thing. It sounds like I need a fresh tune on this guitar.
I mean, even though technically this is probably the most expensive of this bunch that I'm going to play today, right off the bat, I'm really preferring the sound of the Cuvave. Um, it just sounds kind of kind of dark and kind of nasal. It doesn't have that huge open sound, but maybe it would work better in a very specific mix. I don't know, but I do like the fuzz character of this thing. I like the Velcro ripping sort of uh, fuzz that this delivers. <laughs> Kind of sounds best with the tone rolled back uh, before midnight there. It gives it more of like a thick, meaty character. I'm not sure I want to fuzz that that's, that is being run that dark though. All right, next up, let's do, uh, let's do the internet favorite here. The Super Fuzz. The Behringer Super Fuzz. A direct clone of the Boss Super Fuzz that you can't buy anymore. Josh Scott went and played one of these things in his video. Now everyone wants one. Uh, they are available when I made this video on Sweetwater for like 25 bucks, something like that. Maybe I should check. Yep, $24.99 on Sweetwater right now. All right, let's see what it sounds like. How am I so out of tune? All right, here we are. Let's try this thing. Super fuzz. The classic. We'll put it on fuzz one. Start with the EQ settings on double noon.
I prefer that fuzz two setting way more than the fuzz one. But maybe fuzz one cuts through the mix better. But here in room, that fuzz too. It's just brutal. All right, let's move on. People got a little uh, upset with me last time because when I did the video, these were on Amazon for 17 bucks. And while the video was premiering, they completely sold out of the $17 listing and all that was left was a $27 listing. But I think at $27, this thing is still a steal. It is a heavy, heavy, like distortion sounding fuzz. Is it a fuzz? I don't know, people are debating that. It might just be a distortion, but for 27 bucks, I think it sounds pretty dang good. It's got this like 90s muffy distortion sort of thing going on. Sloppy playing today. going with this thing it definitely is deep inside of more of like a distortion style fuzz even if it is not a fuzz at all it might just be a straight distortion but for 27 bucks man that thing sounds massive here is the azor this one i don't remember the price i want to say it was like 19 bucks or something like that uh really low output on this definitely not unity but the fuzz sounds great. I really like the Velcro ripping sound of this thing. Oh, here's my dry signal. Here's the Azor, everything dimed. Ah, it fell apart.
I wish it would come out with an updated version that just has more volume headroom uh, because I really like the sound of this thing. It's the sort of thing where I'm gonna keep this around just to use it in case I needed like a super 60s Velcro sounding fuzz and I can fix it in post sort of deal. This sounds kind of wonderfully trashy. All right, let's go back to the Kuvave, just because I loved it so much. And I want to have a final comparison after playing the rest. Maybe I'll do some sort of stupid down tuning. Ah, $22. I mean, all of these are dirt cheap. What we're looking at here is like $100 worth of fuzz. And they all sound pretty good. A hundred bucks. I think the rusty fuzz sounds the worst. I think the super fuzz is very subjective. If you want that sound, this is gonna give it to you. Not much else is going to. Like this is the road to that sound. The pie fuzz, super ridiculous over the top. Mid scoop distortion. Buzzy Velcro ripping from the Azor. And then super fuzz style, saggy Velcro from the Kuvave. what I was trying to do there. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude, nasty comments, support us on Patreon. And please, if you're interested in any of these, use the links down below because I've got them all set up with affiliate links and stuff. And I might make one or $2 here or there. <laughs> so anyways, bye everyone. Stay grounded.